lyrical lashing where insults turn into wordplay. After the strike, you strike again. We go inside the world of battle rap. The acapella sport, the artistry. Fox 5 exclusive with two of the biggest names in the game. One of the biggest and the best battle rappers in the entire culture. Battle rap with Vada Fly and Showtime SP. Since Holly Ron kicked a hole in the game before multiple views by Tommy Gone. Gotta be strong when you're popping the paparazzi form. Slider singing in your local precinct like... You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. You know who I be. Follow me on IG, Vada underscore Fly. Tell your mama I said hi. Shout out to the whole notification gang. Shout out to my partners over there at Fox, my brother Showtime SP, and everybody who watches this content, whether religiously or in passing. I hope y'all weekends have been going good. My weekend's been pretty good. I spent Saturday out at Delaware State University. I used to go to Delaware State University. Uh, got a degree that I don't even use, you know what I'm saying? But uh, it's funny, I'll tell you a quick story, right? Uh, shout out to the state of Delaware and everybody that goes to Delaware State University. Um, HBCU, I represent HBCU culture, you know what I'm saying? Black school, uh, got a good education, and I, I had a broadcast writing class, you know what I'm saying? That's for like the news and stuff, right? And I hated it. So I failed. I just stopped going, you know what I'm saying? I felt I was too cool for school. I stopped going to that class, and now I have a, te <laughs> I have a television show on the news. So life is kind of like full circle sometimes. But shout out to all the lovely folks at Delaware State University. Saw a lot of people out there, gave a lot of daps, took pictures, and it was good to see people that I hadn't seen in quite some time. Uh, it's a lot going on in the news. Um, I'm going to talk about the goods and the uh, small room versus big rooms in one second, but dog. This DJ Envy case. I think I'm gonna be talking about this real estate Rico. Shout out to Tony the Closer. Until it's over. Like, <laughs> whenever I see something, I'm gonna throw it out there. I'm gonna speak about it because a lot of people are now starting to come forward. They've been hosed, they've been duped. People lost like 300,000, 400,000. I'm hearing that the numbers could be up to 80 million that people have been scammed. And I think the oblivious nature of DJ Envy is wild right now. Like, dog, you still doing the rumor report. Nigga, you are the rumor report. Like, are you crazy? Like, y'all, y'all, good morning, everybody. Like, bro, we don't, Joe Button and them said it yesterday on their podcast. Bro, we don't give a shit about what y'all talking about right now. That motherfucker's guilty. 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 All these people have lost money, and the only reason why they lost money is because you were the confidence man. You was the walking guy. You literally used a huge platform to influence all of these people. And we and we all know that people with platforms have influence. My, I ain't got no huge platform, but I definitely, we definitely have influence. And to use that influence to have people invest their money. And you know, they, they what they do, they get the good people like Puffy and 50, Snoop Dogg, help them get a house, help them flip a house. Dude, they're gonna do right by the stars. They're always gonna do right because the stars got a huge platform. You do Snoop Dogg wrong, you're gonna talk about it, blow the lid off the operation. So they're gonna do right by them. Get their money, make it seem like nice. They pulling up in nice cars, Ferraris and Lamborghinis and, and all this sh You seeing that and you next to the person and you got the money. They like, yo, but if you invest your 100,000, I can flip it. And I could, oh, they was, they, I heard they was getting so much money they wasn't even, Caesar wasn't even counting the money. Niggas was bringing him 200,000, he just throw it to the corner, all right, I'll call you in a month. Next person, they just, they getting so much money. No paperwork, trying to have no paper trail. And all of these people was losing their money, envy. <laughs> uh, I can't drive Showtime SP to the bank. And he runs out with bags of money and a gun on his waist, and I drive off and I act oblivious. Like, there's no way, because you know, here's, how, here's how I know Envy was involved. You're not about to tell me that your man ran up 80 million or 50 million or 10 million and you wasn't getting a cut. That don't even make no sense. Like, what kind of, this is the problem that I have. See, this nigga's, this, this light skin shit, his beige, his beige rage is out of, does he think that we think that he sat up there and this man ran up all that bread Selling 14 niggas the same house. Does he really think that that we think he didn't make any money off of this? 
I just want to know if that what he thinks. Please jump in the comments and let me know. He must think we, should I say the quiet part loud or the loud part quiet? This nigga must think we crazy. You like, what? <laughs> and the funny thing is, the reason why I'm invested in it is because I live not too far from these areas. I'm not too far away from Jersey. I'm from New York. I be in Philly all the time. So I, I see the hardworking people that be out there busting their ass trying to buy property, save money. They going in their 401ks, they taking out liens on their homes to give these people money. It's not like this shit was bad drug deals. Like if it was a bad drug deal, you know what I'm saying, nigga, boom, 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 boom. Drugs is drugs, it's streets is the streets. Even though, you know, when people get done dirty in drug deals, it's foul too, but dog, it's like, these are hardworking people. You know how hard it is to run up a hundred grand? Bro. In my comments right now, there's probably not 10 people who can run up 100,000. That nigga show and tell. It's a hard thing to do. And to give your money to someone thinking that you're going to build the American dream and all this other shit, and they just take you for a ride and, and drop you off? It's crazy. So, Evie, you got to realize that they're going to be on y'all till it's over. They're going to be on y'all till it's over, and I don't blame them because that shit that y'all got going on, the shit that you got going on is wild. You know what I'm saying? Like, Y'all riding around Lamborghinis, Ferraris, and, and all this other shit. And people not even getting a return on their investment. The last thing I'm going to say, because I was talking about this, because people wanted me to break it down even more. When I say every good scheme has a confidence, man, there's going to be somebody that's in position to talk, to bring people in, who has influence, who has a following, who has the look. They see the shiny shit. He's running around with jewelry and cars and on the radio and got all these millions of followers. His wife and kids always got Gucci this, Gucci that. You gonna think that you can attain that, but they shortcut you by bringing you in with a snake or a leech or somebody who's gonna use you. You know what I'm saying? So that's the big problem. Like, Envy can act as oblivious as he wants, but my nigga, you was the one. And that's why a lot of people are starting to sue the radio too. iHeartRadio is catching lawsuits left and right. They're gonna be sued too, because you put this motherfucker on your platform and he walked in your offices and did that. And I wouldn't have even believed it if I didn't hear it on the radio because you was playing it. So, it is what it is. I mean, Envy, you got an uphill battle. You can say what you want, but the shit is blatantly obvious. Your man was taking the money and going to Cheesecake Factory, nigga running around eating, eating pizza and everything on people's life savings. And you didn't even do it to other people. You did that shit to us, like our people. The people that look like us. Oh no, they on y'all. They are on y'all till it's over. So I don't give. I, I don't even know how long the radio is gonna be able to keep him. He might not even be able to work there because it's gonna look crazy. Fifty million, sixty million, twenty-five million, nigga. A hundred, a hundred dollars is too much. You taking money from people that's not yours. And Ponzi schemes always bottom out because the money that it takes to funnel at the top, when you try to flip it again and flip it again, it becomes too, too, too much money. You owe this person five hundred, this person fifty thousand, that person eighty five, this person a hundred thousand, and then people's investing millions. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They coming for y'all. Lock them up. <laughs> uh, now the goods, man. Good says it's the era of the small room. The big stage is not it right now. The big stage is real watered down. He also says that uh. You can get certain crowds to see people and not the battle. He said you get certain crowds to see people and not the battle and it don't be exciting anymore. So basically the big stage is watered down. Okay, um, he's right in some regards, but I don't really think that all of the, uh, all of his pretenses were probably, I mean, it's an interview. I got to watch the interview first of all, but I'm just reading the quote. Um, it is a small room era right now. It's definitely the era of the small room uh, battles right now, and I'll tell you what, like, like to to help what Goods is saying, what his point is. In some of these big room battles, it don't even be about the battle no more. It be about the extra shit, the people on the side, the talking, the crowd, the nerve of you. <laughs> but you That's know, like disrespect. It. The crowd, the hecklers, and I don't really feel like too. There's too many big draws on stages right now obviously the biggest some of the biggest names that rattled on big stages was like the charlie clips uh sue surf obviously he's not here um hitman hollers and uh k shines the briz rawsteins uh, tay rocks and a lot more but a lot of the big big name superstars are either not battling not around 
or they got other shit going on. I just named three big stage superstars. Sue Surf, obviously he's not here. K Shine, embroiled in his contract shit. Briz Rothstein ain't battled since fucking uh, the Heat was in the finals two, three years ago. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't even remember who was the NBA champion the last time he battled. It was, I, it might have been the bubble. The nigga might not have battled since the bubble, the NBA bubble when the Lakers won. He, yeah, yeah, when AD, yeah, he, they might have battled back then. I don't remember. It's been a while. So, you take away a lot of the big names from the big stage. That dumbs it down. But another thing that's helping kill the big stage, when I kill the big stage, is taking over, is the price. The artists realize or know, when you see Hitman Holla post a receipt for 400000 for an event, and he's not even saying whether it was maxed out one, two, three, these big stage guys want big money to be out there. They want big money. They're not going to... The same battle that'll cost somebody four, five thousand in a smaller room is gonna cost them twenty on a big stage. They know, okay, this is Summer Madness. Oh, this is Drake Car. Oh, this is uh, when Max I used to be in the big rooms or any of these big rooms. Chrome Twenty Three, big room. You battling a car with big name in the big room, you gonna want big money. So it's kind of hard for some of the leagues to recoup because you got the pay per view. Yes, URL has the app. Uh, there's a lot of bootleg. Bootlegging goes crazy. Now they got motherfucking groups and everything and shit where you have one nigga get the pay-per-view and fucking uh, 55 other people to watch. So without knowing if you pay one person 50,000, another person 40, that's a $90,000 battle right there. One battle. Then not to mention somebody could choke or somebody could stumble and all this other shit and it takes away from the value. But the thing is, um, He's saying that uh, you get certain crowds to see people and not the battle and it don't be exciting anymore. Uh, I know Surf definitely had crowds that would come to see him specifically. Uh, Geechee definitely has a good following. But I don't think that a crowd coming to see someone cannot make the battle good. You know what I'm saying? Because it doesn't matter how many people you got there. If you're not cooking, you ain't cooking. You know what I mean? But... Uh, a lot of the leagues started going to smaller rooms and smaller battles, and a lot of battles started coming out better. You know, when Band had that wave, when Band did a bunch of bands with New Jersey Twerk versus Chess and uh, Jack Boy versus uh, Big T, fuck the Nets, fuck the Rangers, fuck the Giants, definitely fuck the Giants. I ain't fucking with them, you know what I'm saying? Don't tell me about no football. I don't want to, I don't want to hear about no damn football. Get this shit, get this shit off my table. I don't, I don't even want this on my table. I don't want to hear about no football. But yeah, but even back then, a lot of those small room battles, when Chess was battling in the small rooms and all of that type of shit, it really helped transition over. So now we in a small room era. But what I will say is that, uh, and then you got the blue room, you know what I'm saying? Like, let's be for real. You had Divide and Conquer 1, Divide and Conquer 2, and then you had a whole max out in a small room. And those battles were phenomenal, you know what I'm saying? I'm not just saying it because I was there. It was a really fucking good environment. Small room. You got less long ass lines outside, less people standing outside for five hours waiting to get see that. And that's another thing that has helped kill a lot of the big stage shit. A lot of these events, people gotta get there eight o'clock in the morning, don't get there till three o'clock, don't get in the building till four, three, four in the afternoon. You've been standing for eight hours. There's nothing to eat. There's, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like niggas is dying. So by the time the battle start, niggas start, if they ain't hearing no shit that's fire, now the crowd is like, I'm getting involved. Because I've been here since 8, 9 in the morning. I've been on my feet all day. And I ain't hearing nothing that's making me go crazy. Now I'm getting involved. That they start heckling. And they start talking. And they start doing shit. And it takes away. But uh, is it over for the big stage? No. I just feel like the product this year specifically has been getting delivered better in small rooms. You know what I'm saying? Um, because, like I said, when you have cards where like the artist, either the artist ain't bringing it. And then a lot another thing that's helping, that's fucking up, is that niggas is battling too much. Like even like a nigga like Charlie Clips, I fuck with Clips. But Clips had a battle like last week, he's got one next week against uh, DNA on the, um, on the fucking wrestling joint, shout out to that. He's got a battle like right after that versus uh, Chef Trez. Then he had a battle that he didn't, wasn't able to do versus, I, he, swan, he got all these fucking battles, you know what I'm saying? Nigga battle every week. When you nigga battle every week, you put him on a big stage, what do you expect? He's not going to deliver. He's just battled every fucking week before. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, there's a lot of shit that goes involved. And then another thing that could take away is a lot of the big stage battles already happen. A lot of the big, 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 big main stage battles that people want to see have already happened in some capacity. And then when you take away some of the stars, we don't know what's up with K-Shine. We haven't seen him all year. And if we don't see him in the next month or two, it's going to be a whole calendar year that he doesn't battle. 
who does that help? You know what I mean? And then, um, you know, there are a lot of people that can still rock big stages. Easy to block captain is one. Uh, Gichi Gotti is another one. Uh, and there's a lot of people that when you take them off the big stage and put them in a small room, the question remains. Like, Big K is a phenomenal performer, but does he do well on big stages? That's a good question. Uh, JC, does he do well on big stages? You know what I'm saying? So it's all about mixing and matching at the end of the day. But uh, shout out to all of y'all. I just wanted to drop some NFL Sundays coming on. Y'all peep the NFL. I'm good. I'm good. I, I might turn the game on, but watch it with the volume down because my team is a bunch of clowns. You ain't know what the fuck going on, man. It's your boy Butterfly. Tell your mama I said hi. Envy, get off that bullshit, man. You niggas is going to J A I L. Niggas is guilty. Niggas is guilty. Niggas is guilty. Niggas is guilty. Y'all going to jail. Y'all going to jail. Real estate Rico. Real estate Rico. Real estate Rico. Real estate Rico. 14 names on one piece of land. 13 niggas going to take the stand. That motherfucker's guilty. 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 That motherfucker's guilty.